Matt Prittis from the West Coast Footy Club. What a winner he's turned out to be. West Coast, M Prittis, three votes. I obviously rocked up um, not knowing what was going to happen. I thought I had a consistent year. Um, and some of my better games were in our losses. So you're not really sure how you're going to poll. Um, and you know, as the night progressed, obviously my nerves increased. Um, and you know, by the halfway point, I thought, you know, I'm a chance. You nervous, mate? Yes, uh, uh, nervous is a bit of an understatement. I just thought Matt would probably poll quite well. I, I was thinking maybe top five, but I really didn't think he'd win it. I thought somebody like Gary Ablett might still be ahead far enough and take it out. M. Prittis, two votes. I declare the 2014 Brownlow medal winner, Matt Prittis of the West Coast Eagles. I've been to a few Brownlows, but never been on the table where the winner uh, gets announced. And uh, normally you just head into the after party and you have a couple of beers and you go home. But, uh, you know, the press conferences the next day and the guy who won it um, was a great, great night for West Coast. It's my pleasure now to invite to the stage the 2013 Brownlow medalist to present this year's medal. Hard at the footy, uh, loves the contest and um, just admire the way that he, he knows his strengths and he plays, plays so well to, to them. And Prudis, he's willed it through! That's the sort of team looking goal they're after! For him to achieve what he has, you know, regardless of winning with Brownlow or not, it's just um, it's a great story where you get knocked back a few times, um, not getting drafted, and he just, he, he always wants to try to get better, so he prepares as well as he can every week, um, and then performs consistently, and that's why he got results in, you know, a best and fairest and a Brownlow medal. But today they just can't get enough. Yeah, that's why I love playing footy, it's uh, a very united group, um, and playing with your mates. Um, so to have Shannon Hearn, he's one of my best mates, we've come to the club at the same time, and a really good friendship. Um, to have him along my side is it's really special. I now ask you all to charge your glasses, be upstanding, and toast the 2014 Brownlow medalist Matt Prittis. It was a great feeling. I guess I was at home with all my family. I decided to celebrate uh, for Pritter. I was just going to go to bed, but it was just, I decided to stay up and I guess party with him um, from from afar. I was in China in a hotel. Uh, you can't access the internet in China basically, so hopefully the Chinese government doesn't see this, but I, I managed to uh, stream a, uh, a digital content of the Brownlow with uh, written words from a journal over here and uh, yeah, it was, it was very exciting. Uh, I don't think the poor patrons of the hotel quite understood what was happening when I stood up and started yelling, Matty Prittis, Matty Prittis, Brown and Heddle. He didn't think he was going to win, but we were all telling him he was from round one, and so I think that made him even more nervous, and um, yeah, it was a really good night. I don't see myself as, you know, with the likes of some of the Brownlow medals of the past, so a little bit daunting, but um, something I'm obviously very proud of. Whoever was in Melbourne um, came to the Crown, and we spent a lot of time together, so as teammates, board members and coaches, they were over for a conference, which was great. But Matty Rosa driving all the, two hours in a taxi from Ballarat was a pretty um, special effort and when he got there the boys erupted. Very new to us, we really keep a low profile so it was quite full on but yeah it was so nice for Matt and it was all about him so he soaked it all up and then straight back to a normal life. It's something I'm very proud of and you do pinch yourself and every now and then you, you think about that night but I haven't thought about it a lot as of yet. It, it's uh, with no disrespect to it, I, I still want to finish off my career playing some really good footy and once I retire then it's something you can look back and um, really think about a lot more but I, I want to be in the moment um, for the rest of my career. Our 2014 Brownlow medalist.